Hey everyone, so I'm going to show you how to configure a 2100 series Cisco Firepower device running ASA code. Uh, these devices could run ASA or FTD code uh, and there's some little quirks about configuring them and not a lot of great documentation just yet on how to do that. So uh, the first thing you're going to want to do is set the IP address on the FXOS. That's the operating system of the chassis itself. And before you do that, you need to disable DHCP. So you're going to log in with admin, capital A, admin, 123 for the password. And then you're going to do scope, system, scope, services, disable, DHCP server. And then you're going to back out of that. And then to set the IP address, you're going to scope, as you can see the options here, to be fabric interconnect, A, and you're going to set, so we're going to set out of band IP address, static IP, and in this case for me it is 10.122.148.141 and then my net ask is a.240 and my gateway and then commit buffer and the way to check that this is actually working and it, one of the things that threw me off is that it takes a while for it to actually show sometimes but if you go back to your prompt here and connect to your local management then you can show I believe it is management IP debug. And what we're looking for here is this interface. And so it still actually has uh, the original IP address. This is what it comes with. So if you wanted to just be able to plug into it and uh, access the, um, the firepower hardware GUI via the web interface, then you, if you have a computer that's in this range, then you could do that without having to go through all this. Um, I'm going to go ahead and start pinging and see if uh, this gives us a connection. One point of confusion is that if you have uh, the firepower code on here and not the ASA code, you cannot configure this address the way that we just did and you just go to the FTD. Now oh, it's going now. You just go to the FTD so you do connect firepower or whatever it is <clears throat> and you configure the management interface on there and then that will uh, backwardsly configure this address here but it's not the same on the ASA the ASA you need two separate IP addresses <clears throat> and this management zero interface will bridge over to uh, the other interface on the ASA the virtual interface so now that that's working we can double check on here, just run that command again. And there it is. And you can see it does take quite a while. All right. And so the next thing that we're going to want to do is we're going to want to configure the ASA so that we could reach it through ASDM. So we are going to back out of here. One way or the other. And then connect ASA. Enable. There's no password for enable. And so if we do show run, see that this is our IP address there. So we're actually just going to go to that interface. No. No IP 
IP address. And then we're going to add our IP address that we want. And this is going to be a different IP address than the one that we configured on the hardware interface. And then if you do a show run HTTP, you'll see that uh, HTTP is set up for the, the standard, the what it comes pre-configured as in this dot 45, and so we need to remove that. So I'll just copy that and back out and do a no. And and then you just need to give a range of addresses that you want to be able to access via HTTP. So let's keep it simple and do that. And then we need a route. So we need a, um, a route back to our computer here. And so let's do a static route. So route management. Default static route, and then our gateway. And that's it. So now we should be able to ping. ASA. And then if we go to a web browser here, this is my, uh, my first recording, so you can see that I was trying to find a, what software to use. HTTPS. And then we're going to put in the ASA password there, or that password IP address. And that'll do it. And then we could download our software and, and access it that way. So that's what I wanted to show you guys. It took a while to figure out that that was the appropriate uh, order to do things in. So hope you enjoy.